Hi there, Pisces. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. I hope you and your loved ones are doing amazing right now. I do have the sun a little bit in my eyes, so I'm going to be focusing more on the table than anything for your reading. But I have to get this reading done before the sun goes all the way down. It is just so nice outside and like, oh, <laughs> I love it. The fresh air, the vitamin D. So anyways, it's about the cards, not me. Anyway. We're going to start with the Work Your Light Oracles by Rebecca Campbell, and then I'm going to clarify with the Light Seer's Tarot. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If none of this resonates, try a different message. Please do not limit yourself to the signs on this channel. I recognize that we take on any sign at any time. So they're all for you. All of the readings are for you. I give you 12 readings a day. Well, today I did. Um, whichever title stands out to you, whichever timestamp, you've been seeing those numbers. There's a message in it for you, okay? It might not make sense right now, but it will. Anyways, if you believe, right? If you believe. Pisces, let's see what we've got. All of a sudden, I just felt so tired. I don't know what that's about. Maybe you guys are just a little tired. Maybe it's at the end of the day. Maybe some of you guys are staying up late to watch readings. <laughs> Oh, we got play in reverse. You guys, um, you, you might be having a little bit too much fun. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I didn't really want to grow up, so I had three children. Um, and I don't have to. I can still play board games. I can still watch kids' movies. I can still splash in the pool. Whatever, right? Water fight here and there. Jump out behind the door and, boop, scare somebody. Just for the fun of it, right? Um, so I don't know what this is. Somebody's playing too much. Maybe you're being a little bit risky. Maybe you're, uh, risking lowering your vibration a little bit too much. Um, maybe you are up late and, and maybe you just gotta be a little more responsible. Get yourself to bed at a decent time. Um, I don't know. This could actually mean quite a bit. I do think it's a little bit of that responsible thing though. You've got an ancestor that's like, all right, <laughs> playtime's over. Let's pick up, right? Let's see, work your later, uh, no. Light Sears Tarot, what does the Light Sears Tarot want to add for Pisces? Please and thank you. Let's see, for Pisces. Please and thank you, Spirit. Messages for Pisces. So my son plays soccer and I got him these really cool nets and Alpha, for those of you guys that know Alpha, uh, he's my cat if you don't know him, um, he's like posted up in this net and he's like hiding out. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Anyways, for Pisces, please and thank you. What is this? Um, got to be a little more serious about things. What, what is this? We playing too much. What, what is this? Page of Wands sideways. Ooh. I feel like you either need to not go somewhere or like decline an invitation type deal is what I'm getting with this. I don't think your guides want you to be a part of something. It's too risky. It could be the people involved. It could be the location where this is taking place. It's just not the right place, right time. Um, but there's definitely the sense of things being pushed a little too much, taken a little bit too far. And you want to avoid this. Like there's something about turning down an invitation. It's almost like something's going to happen that you could not have seen. You could not have predicted. Um, there's something about getting wrong place, wrong time, like walking in on something that you had no business walking in on. Almost like maybe if you go over to a friend's house, by the time you get there, them and somebody over the phone are, are fighting and you walk in on this fight and it's just like the blast of that energy knocks you on your ass. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling a little tired, a little drained, or maybe you invite somebody over 
and they overwhelm on their stay and you're like half falling asleep like okay i'm gonna go to bed now and they still won't get the hint and leave um or maybe it's your ride you're like I i'd like to go and they're like well let's just stay a little longer and you like you really can't energetically be there anymore whatever this is this is a use caution i, I want to say that's what this is be careful use use some caution moving forward with this yeah it's like something you couldn't have predicted you you couldn't have known this was going to happen that's why you're you're being told ahead of time the hermit and the cherry yeah this is like stay in don't go out don't stay in don't go out of wands two of swords yeah because you might get stuck somewhere or somebody might dip out on you like leave without you i don't think you discuss this oh shit guys um intuition is like screaming at you right now Pisces this is your energy the high priestess your intuition is screaming at you we have justice underneath those two there is some nasty karmic energy that you're about to walk into or like you have the ability to make sure this doesn't play out and only you can make sure this doesn't play out you're being told something before it happens. Again, it's something you couldn't have even seen, but like it's decision making time. And I don't think you've said yes or no, you're going to go to this yet. Or maybe you did say yes and now you're second guessing it. It's one or the other. If you already said no to something, this isn't your message. Or you were right to say no and this is your message. <laughs> Let me just correct myself right there. Chariot, uh, Cancer, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Page of Wands. Let me pull one card from this deck real quick, actually. Let me pull one card from the Sacred Heart Tarot. Oh, I hope I didn't get a sunburn. I have so many aloe plants, though, I'm not even worried about it. I, it's already come down to that. <laughs> I think my back is probably, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I think it's still peeling a little bit. Oh, no, not really. Not really. Anyway, for Pisces, please and thank you. <laughs> All right. I have a swords reversed. Yeah. Avoiding that lowest vibration. This is one of the lowest vibrations. Avoiding it altogether. This narcissistic energy or action that somebody's about to be taken. Hi, mamas. Aw, she came up to you. Look, she says, where are my pets? I'll take them now. She's such a princess. Yep, movement of wands in reverse. So this is telling me that you guys are sitting this one out. You're not going to take action. You're not going to move forward with this. You're you're turning it down. You're like, no, I, I think I'll pass or I've got something going on. Yeah, you're saving your own ass here with that one. Straight up. Listen to your intuition. If you feel like you need to sit something out or just wait and maybe go to the next one or something like that. Like go the next day or something. Do it. Do it. Because you're going to be avoiding a really nasty situation for sure. You know what? Justice. There could be, like, police getting involved with something. Like, I for real think that you're, you're being saved from getting stuck in the crossfire. 
has nothing to do with you. You don't need to get stuck in the middle of this crossfire, right? So guys, that's what I've got for you. We have the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Cancer. That's all that I've got for you right now. But I'm going to leave it here. I love you guys. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful. Do you want to do it? Like, share, subscribe, turn on, kiss, bell, and click go so you get notified when she makes a new video. Bye, guys.